Welcome to Dozochem. This video covers acid plus metal hydroxide reactions and writing molecular equations. An acid produces H plus or hydrogen ions in water. Um, so when you mix an acid and a metal hydroxide, what's going to happen, two things are going to happen. One, the H plus from the acid sticks to the OH minus from the metal hydroxide and gives you the product water. At the same time, the metal cation from the metal hydroxide will stick to the anion from the acid and give you an ionic compound. So uh, what we're going to learn now is how to write a molecular equation. You may have heard of net ionic equations, so this is, uh, this is going to be different. Um, you're going to represent all reactants and products as neutral molecules. So the general format you're going to follow for these types of reactions is that an acid plus a metal hydroxide is always going to give you water in a neutral ionic compound as the other product. Here's a list of common acids that are going to come up in this video and you may see them in some of your labs. Um, so let's do kind of a classic example of an acid metal hydroxide reaction. Hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Um, so here's the formula. Hydrochloric acid is HCl and sodium hydroxide NaOH. So uh, we know one product of an acid and metal hydroxide is going to be water. The other product you figure out using charges. The metal ion, sodium, is plus one because it's group one. And the chloride ion is Cl minus. Um, you can figure that out because H is plus one in the acid, so Cl must be minus one, but it's also column 17, so you know it's minus one. So if uh, Na is plus one and Cl is minus one, you just write down the neutral formula NaCl. And since it's already balanced, you don't need to change any coefficients. Uh, one tip before we continue, when you go to balance, one way to think about it is that the number of H pluses should equal the number of OH minuses and also should be equal to the number of waters formed in the reaction. So next example, nitric acid and calcium hydroxide. Nitric acid's HNO3 and calcium hydroxide CaOH2 because calcium is plus 2 and hydroxide is minus 1, so you get the formula CaOH2. So it's a metal hydroxide and an acid, so we know one product is water. The other product, we're going to look at the metal cation. Calcium's column 2, so it's plus 2. And the anion from the acid, nitrate, is minus 1. So to get a neutral formula, you get CaNO32 um, to make it neutral. Now to balance using the tip I gave you above, if hydroxide, there's two of them, then you're going to need two H pluses, and there's only one uh, over here in front of the nitric acid. So if we make that a two, I'll now have two H pluses, two OH minuses, and then I'm also going to want to put a two in front of the water, um, because all three of those have to be the same, and it's balanced. Um, down below, sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide, sulfuric acid H2SO4, potassium hydroxide KOH. So one product, water. The other product, K is column 1. So it's plus 1. Sulfate is known to be minus 2. So my formula's got to be neutral, so I make it K2SO4. Um, to balance, this time, there's two H pluses and only one hydroxide. So the way you're going to give yourself two hydroxides is put a 2 in front of the KOH. And remember that the number of waters has to be the same as the H pluses and the OH minuses, so you put a 2 in front of the H2O and it will be balanced. Last example, phosphoric acid barium hydroxide. So phosphoric acid H3PO4 and barium hydroxide BaOH2. Now, a um, couple of different ways to balance this. Um, if we want to use the same method we did on the previous slide, if there's two hydroxides here and three H pluses, the only way to get those equal um, is to put a 2 in front of the phosphoric acid and a 3 in front of the BaOH2 because if you do that you now have 6 H pluses and 3 times 2 is 6 OH minuses therefore 6 waters are produced. Um, another way to balance this would have been to just simply see that there's a 3 in front of the or a 3 is a subscript next to the barium so there must be a 3 here and there's a 2 as a subscript after the phosphate, so there must be a 2 in front of the H3PO4. So there's a couple of different ways to think about the balancing here. 
Um, either works equally well, uh, but this one's the trickiest one to balance, but it is all set now. So that's for this video. Good luck.